Okay. Now to help solidify this, I'm going to add on another bit of detail. I'm going to go back in with my extrude tool, only this time what I'm going to do is I'll use the curve stroke mode again, that's this one, the little S curve right there, and I'm going to use a particular alpha. I'm going to use this one right here, which has and the way that one works is that it starts at a very shallow angle and then it gets a sharper point towards the middle. If you don't have this one, you can see the, uh, the curve there and you can make it yourself using the same technique we used to make this one. So, with this... And I want to form a closed loop. Now to do that, I can go to this little box up here, and I can say use closed spline. And that's the spline I want. I can hit escape, and then I'll just right click on all of these to make them sharp corners. Then I can hold down control so it sculpts it downward, and hit enter. Now let's add a little bit more to this. I'm going to have some grooves be cut down going at some angles. And there's a couple ways of doing this, but the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to use the Curves tool again. So for me it's Shift-C, or you could just go down to Curves, and I'm going to clear all, just get rid of them, and I'm going to draw a curve that goes down from about here, down to there, and then back down to there. Now if I right click this, it'll become a harsh edge, and you'll see it's kind of sunken into the volume a bit. We want that, that's good. But you'll see that the ends here are completely flat. We don't want that. We can change that by going to the profile here on the left. If we change it from straight to hemisphere, you'll see those become rounded caps. So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. I'm, uh, I'm holding down middle click and drag as I'm doing this. If you hold down left click, click and drag, then you will draw out another curve. So we have that. And we'll change it from add to subtract. And then if I clear all, and you see we have these two very nice grooves cut in. Okay, that should be enough for that particular section. I'm going to move on to the front here. So another new type of tool I'm going to show you here. Specifically, a new type of primitive. Now you'll see that this is not quite rectangular. It's a bit slanted. But that's okay, we can deal with that. If I hit Shift P for primitives, or just go down to the primitives tool, I can select this one right here, a freeform cube. And I specifically want a 2x2 two two cube. And there it is. This allows me to make slightly more complex shapes using a primitive. As you see, I can make a parallelogram shape by moving the tops right here. I don't want to do that just yet. I'm going to select Transform Lattice, and then I can edit it just like any other primitive. Okay, now it's about the right size, but it's not quite the right shape. So I'm going to fix that. I'll turn off Transform Lattice Toggle, and if I grab one edge, just click it, and then shift select the next edge then I can move them with a standard transform gizmo scale that out a little bit and then I can do the same thing to the bottom side grab one edge shift select the other scale that out move it over, 
Very good. And then I'll change this to subtract. And, and now I've got a hole cut in there. Now what am I going to fill this hole with? And I'm going to make it look kind of like a vent. And so I'm going to fill it with a lot of very narrow uh, cube primitives. And Okay, so that's a lot of the medium details for this area covered. I'm going to move on to the this front section right here. We're going to add some medium sized details to that. So here's a little nifty trick I found if you've got in a long edge like this and you're not quite sure what to do with it. It's going to involve two primitives, and one of which is my personal favorite of them the capsule. When you're doing hard surface, high-tech looking stuff like this, a capsule is very useful. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make it look like there's a pipe of some sort running along this edge. But I'm also gonna have it look like it's inset sort of inside the the body of this piece. It may sound a little abstract, but it should make a bit more sense once I actually get it in there. Now here's a cool thing with a primitives like the capsule and the cylinder, is that if you need to rotate it exactly 90 degrees and to align it to a certain axis, in my case I need to align it along the Z axis going forward and back, I can just hit Z right here and it'll align itself. Now it's not perfect, I actually need to turn it a tiny bit more than that, but in a lot of instances that's very useful. So I'm going to subtract that, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And I'm going to come in with the cylinder, make it nice and long and narrow, and I'm going to bring it into that exact same spot. And there you go. I'm going to add a little bit of plating to, yeah, basically to the whole structure, so all the different pieces. So I'm just going to run through that really quickly here. <clears throat> 